Hello everyone, welcome to Dental Education Hub YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss the morphology of the maxillary deciduous first molar. So this one is a right deciduous maxillary first molar and this one is a left deciduous maxillary first molar. So these maxillary molars along with the other molars, they help in the grinding of food. These teeth emerge into the oral cavity around the age of 16 months and the root it is completed by the age of two and a half years. This tooth it is replaced by the maxillary first premolar around the age of 10 years. So this is the buccal aspect of the deciduous maxillary first molar. So there are two cusps. This one is the mesiobuccal cusp, the larger one, and the smaller one is the distobuccal cusp. The buccal surface of the tooth, it is, it is smooth and with very few faint developmental depressions. Otherwise, the buccal surface of the tooth, it is smooth. The tooth it is widest at the contact areas and then there is a constriction. Uh, there are the tooth it has three roots, mesial root, distal root and the inner one is the palatal root sometimes referred as lingual root. So there are three roots and the roots they are quite divergent or uh, you can say that these are widely separated. This portion below the cemento enamel junction to the, to the trifurcation, this is the root trunk. So the root trunk in the maxillary first molar, deciduous first molar and all other deciduous teeth, the root trunk it is very short and the roots they just divide a few millimeter below the cemento enamel junction. So uh, this is the deciduous maxillary first molar from the lingual aspect. The crown it converges towards the lingual aspect therefore part of the mesial surface of the tooth and part of the distal surface of the tooth they are visible from the lingual aspect. This tooth is a three cusp type tooth this tooth is a three cusp type tooth, therefore the lingual aspect it has only one single lingual cusp and the buccal aspect it has two cusps. All three roots they are visible from the palate this aspect. This one is the mesial root, distal root and this is the lingual root that is sometimes referred as the palatal root. So this is the mesial aspect of the tooth. This is the mesiobuccal cusp and this is a single lingual cusp. The mesiobuccal cusp and the lingual cusp, they are joined by a ridge and this ridge is known as the mesial marginal ridge. The tooth, it has a pronounced convexity on the buccal aspect near the cervical third of the tooth. So this area, it has a pronounced convexity this is the mesial root which is broader buccolingually as compared to the mesiodistal word. So the root it is quite broad buccolingually. The cervical line curvature it is slightly towards the occlusal surface. This one is a single lingual, this one is the lingual root. Lingual root it extends lingually and then in the apical third it sharply curves towards the buccal side. So uh, this is the mesial aspect of, uh, this is the explanation of the mesial aspect of the tooth. So this is the tooth. Uh, this is the deciduous maxillary for a smaller from the distal aspect. So the tooth, it is narrower buccolingually on the distal side. Therefore, part of the buccal aspect and the lingual aspect, they are visible from the distal aspect. The distobuccal cusp, this is the distobuccal cusp. So the distobuccal cusp, it is slightly smaller as compared to the mesiobuccal cusp. So you can see the mesiobuccal cusp in the background. 
this is the distal root and the buccolingual dimension of the distal root it is less therefore in the background you can see the mesial root in the background this is the occlusal aspect of the deciduous maxillary first molar so the crown it converges towards the lingual aspect so this is a three cusp type uh, maxillary first molar so this is the mesial cusp distal cusp and a single lingual cusp this is a central developmental groove there's a fossa in this area that is this is the mesial triangular fossa distal triangular fossa and here there's a central fossa this is the central developmental groove that is running from the mesial triangular fossa towards the distal triangular fossa this ridge is the mesial marginal ridge and this is smaller ridge is the distal marginal ridge so uh, this is a brief description of the deciduous maxillary first molar do check out the links in the description of this video for more informative content again thank you so much and stay blessed